It's an extremely exciting day today because I'll be going to my first Michelin starred restaurant of 2022. This one's also special to me because it's my 60th Michelin starred restaurant that I've dined at, so yeah, I'm feeling good about that. And I'm going to a good one. I'm going to Resdora, an Italian restaurant really well known for its pastas. They even have a pasta tasting menu. How awesome is that? Unfortunately, I don't believe they offer the tasting menu for lunch, which is the meal I will be partaking in. I'm also really excited for the fact that this restaurant is notoriously hard to land a reservation at. I somehow managed to get one. Unfortunately, I just realized that it's for the outdoor area. This is not ideal. It's winter and it's like uh, 30 degrees out right now, so uh, it's a little cold. I'm quite layered up, but I will ask if I could switch my table to one of the indoor ones. Yeah, maybe I'll get lucky, but either way, I'm so excited to eat here. I can't wait. I've been wanting to go to this restaurant for at least a couple years now. Let's go to lunch. Residora, located in the Flatiron District of New York City, opened its doors in 2019 to wide acclaim that included a three-star review from the New York Times as well as a coveted Michelin star. When I arrived to the restaurant, I got a good look at their outdoor setup. It was covered and equipped with heaters, but I still asked if they could accommodate me inside and my request was granted. Residora is a small restaurant. It can only host so many diners, which certainly adds to the difficulty of securing a reservation. Chef Stefano Secchi trained and worked extensively in Italy before opening Resdora. He even spent time at the acclaimed three Michelin star Osteria Francescana in Modena. The establishment is widely regarded as one of the best restaurants in the world. Fresh pasta and the cuisine of Emilia Romagna formulate the menu. My appetizer soon arrived. It was a fatunta, which is toasted sourdough bread with extra virgin olive oil and salt. Just because it's bread, this isn't a throwaway course by any means. Grill marks gave it a wonderful texture, the flavor was strong, and there was a good hit of salt. It was a wonderful way to start off my lunch. My first pasta along with a side came next. The pasta was a garamigna giallo e verde. The beautiful yellow and green pasta was perfectly cooked, but it was a slow braised sausage ragu that made this dish something special. The sausage was so smooth and flavorful, it was like eating meaty butter. The pasta was phenomenal. On the side, I had the cipollini, which were sweet and sour baby onions with roasted balsamic vinegar. The onions were light and delicate, but packed an incredible punch of balsamic flavor. My next pasta was a strazza preti with tomato sauce from Emilia topped with lobster and basil. Strazza preti is basically an elongated form of cavatelli. In Italian, the word translates to priest strangler or priest choker, which is very disturbing, but it tasted great and that's what counts. The lobster was plump and tasty, but I felt that the tomato sauce was missing something. I couldn't put my finger on it, whether it needed more salt or acidity or sweetness, it just felt like it didn't interact with the lobster as harmonious as it could have. Still, don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed this course. Finally, I had dessert. I got Nona's Ferragusto in Sicily, which is a date and almond torta with apples and caramel. It doesn't look like anything fancy, but it really delivered on flavor. The torta had the most pleasant texture combined with the perfect caramel that made for a truly supreme ending to my lunch at Resdora. Before leaving, I paid a visit to the washroom and found it to be a very educational experience as an Italian language course played out over the speakers. I appreciate a bathroom where one can empty their bladder, but at the same time, fill their head with knowledge. You see this smile? I am pretty damn happy right now because that meal at Resdora Oh my goodness, that was incredible. First off, I was really happy that the restaurant was able to accommodate me by switching my table to inside the establishment. Although the outdoor setup did look pretty cozy. I mean, it was fully covered, it had heaters. I think I would have been fine there, but I really enjoy being inside. All of my food was excellent. Now the portion sizes are small and it is expensive, but 
I think it's worth it. It's a special occasion type of restaurant. And with the small sizes, it definitely allows one to actually order more food. I think with what I had, I am adequately filled up. But I also really want to go back for a dinner service sometime because that's when they offer the pasta tasting menu and some signature pastas that they just don't have on the menu at lunch. In summation, I really enjoyed my lunch at Resdora. The pasta I had was absolutely amazing. All the food was so, so good. For me, this restaurant has been a great culinary start to 2022. Not to mention, I'm really happy that I get to call it Resdora as my 60th Michelin star restaurant that I've dined at. But overall, I think Resdora is an amazing restaurant. I really can't wait to go back.